And so without further ado, let's get started. That's so bad, you Hey guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm Karen and this is my hubby, Ken. Hi. Hi. Um, we wanted to come to you guys today um, just to tell you about a new product that, well, it's not really new to us. We've been using it since February. Yep. But um, we really wanted to, you know, try it out and see how we liked it before we did like a full review because we wanted to be able to give you guys like a really good review on the product and that product is Piper Y. We um, actually saw it on Shark Tank and um, it's a natural deodorant and I um, wanted to give it a try and just see if we liked it, if it worked, if it was worth, you know, the hype and everything. And so that's what we're here today to tell you guys um, is just more about this product and if we think it's worth your money. So if you would like to find out more about how to get it, um, prices and our thoughts on the product, then just keep watching and without further ado, let's get into it. What the heck was that? That's my <laughs> that's my let's get into. No, it. what was the whole thing you just said? I thought we were doing the review. No, that's the intro. Why do you have the <laughs> intro? Why can't you just do it? Because it's the or it's the YouTube order of the universe. <laughs> it's like a waste of like a minute and a half. I, I feel gypped out of my time. All right, let's go. So, um, like I said, today we are going to be talking about Piper Y. And we started, we saw this on Shark Tank back in like December. You have to put your hand behind it. Why? Because the camera won't focus. It was focusing? No. Well, I can't see. Okay. See, it's focusing. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we saw this on Shark Tank back in, I think it was January. And it's a natural deodorant that uses... Um, it uses activated charcoal and um, sodium bicarbonate, I think. Yes. It's baking soda. And a lot of other stuff. And it's all natural. Well, it's a lot of like botanical oils and essential oils and stuff like that. And it is like a list. I will, oh, you're right. It doesn't pick it up. Yeah, it doesn't. You have to put your hand on it. Huh. Um, so what I will do is I will list the ingredients down below because it really is too much to go into. And they are all natural. I mean, it's not a lot of chemicals. Yeah. No, no chemicals, actually. It's all natural stuff it's just a lot of natural stuff yeah but i would like you know first i do need to say this this video is not sponsored in any way we purchase no. these products with our money um although if piper Wild would like to sponsor this video <laughs> okay. you can't do but um yeah but like i said we we purchase these products so we're not being paid to say any of this stuff this is our honest opinion and um, so first I thought I would give you guys just like the rundown. Now when we ordered it the first time, we got um, the two jar pack from HSN. That would be the one jar without the, the lid. But anyway, we got the two jar pack from HSN. Then I realized the other day, I actually went on Piper Y, their website, and they now have it in stick form. Which is really cool, which we'll talk a little more about in a little bit. Yeah, because um, there is a difference in yes. the feel of the product. And so what I want to do right now is just give you a rundown of like the difference in price between the Piper Y website and HSN. So when I ordered this on HSN, we got the jars, and you get two two-ounce jars for $24.95, and right now, that is the price, is $24.95, and at this time, it is on three auto, sh or, um, three flex pays, and shipping was $3. Now, when I ordered this, I ordered it on January the 30th, and it, I received it February 2nd, so it came fairly quickly. Now, I just ordered this from Piper Y, the website. I ordered it on March 17th and it took 11 days. 11 days. And the shipping price is higher because on HSN it's $3 to ship. On Piper Y it's 4 And I don't see where they give you any option to do like a quicker shipping. Um, so the price rundown on Piper Y's website, if you get the jars, they are $11.99 per two ounce jar, so the same size as this, $11.99. If you order it on auto ship, it ships, I believe, every two months, and it drops the price down to $10.79 a jar. 
Um, shipping is, I believe, four dollars. And then if you order the stick version from the Piper Wild website, it is $16.99 and it drops to $15.29 if you do it on auto ship. And the stick is 2.7 ounces. So you do get more product in the stick than you get in one jar. Um, but now the stick is more expensive. So now, like I said, it was really, really slow on shipping and I do if you do decide to order this and you want to order it from Piper Wise website I will link a discount link below I do have a discount link that will save you 15% okay so that is the price points and the details on shipping and all of that good stuff so now let's talk about the products the yeah. good stuff all right good stuff so I wanted Ken to do this with me also because I wanted you know for any guys that might watch I wanted them to see like a guy's perspective and you know, so that you could get a more well-rounded view because these are unisex products. Yeah. So, um, you want to start off? Like, sure. the smell? What do you think about the smell? Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a minty. Botanical? Um, yeah, it's, it's really. Like eucalyptus. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. really get a, it does smell like a natural product. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell there's no fragrances added to it, no artificial fragrances. Yeah. It's all natural smells. You know, you can tell the difference. Like you smell like deodorant, like a regular stick of deodorant. Um, it, it, you get that perfumey mm -hmm. smell and it, they come with a different scents and you can tell it's just artificial and fake. These don't smell that way. They actually smell, they smell good, don't get me wrong. They don't smell, you know, bad at all. But you can tell that it's a natural product and yeah. doesn't have any artificial artificial perfumes or anything like that in it. But it, it does have a, a, a nice fresh smell to it, so it's it's pleasant. Uh, pleasant this smell. one's more minty. Yeah, it smells a little the, stronger. The maybe. stick is more minty. But then again, this one is almost empty, so that may have something to do with yeah. it. Yeah, because we've used we used one completely, and we almost we've almost used this other one. Oh yeah, that uh, was the other thing I wanted to tell them is how long it lasted. Yeah, we've had the two jars, the two two ounce jars. So that's two of us using two two, two ounce jars. jars, and we received them um, back on February first of this year. We're um, still using a March twenty eighth. We st I don't I can't remember if we started like you know, that day or the next, the next day. day. Did we start the next day? We okay, the I can't remember. Day. But we it was right around that time frame. So that's been what almost. Two months. Yeah, two. All right, now we had two jars, and the two jars together lasted the both of us from February second till now. Uh, well, we've been well, using this for yeah, a couple but of there's days. still some yeah. left in that, so we're I mean, about the same. Yeah, what we so like it, it lasted us what a good two months. Two months yeah, you know, so two got, months for twenty four dollars for two people. So if you're just one person using it, obviously it would last you yeah a lot longer and you know, we'll get to the amounts and how you apply and everything in, in a few minutes. Another thing too though, I think guys end up using more of this than women because of, I mean, y'all have hair under your arms and yep. so you need to apply more under your arms than like, you know, we shave, ladies usually yep. we shave under our arms. So, um, um, let's see, application, um, if you do get the jars, you do have to like scoop it out with your finger and, um, so you use about a pea. Size. I end up using wow. more than that. So like if you are using the jar, you're gonna scoop it out like this, and it comes out. I'm gonna put some up in here. And then you just massage it into like your armpits. And so you're gonna massage it into your underarms. And you can see, like, it starts out gray, but it does disappear into yep, the skin. It does. Yeah, you can't see that it doesn't yeah. feel, you don't feel any, you don't feel any residue um, for guys. And the difference, like she was saying just a few minutes ago with the, with the hair and the armpits, you... I'm going to show you guys up close, like me, see it's gray, but as you massage it in, it like it loses its color so you do have to massage it in but you can see like it does lose the color so so for guys we do have you know most of us have hair underneath our armpits um, when you're when you're using this it does have a tendency to get stuck in the hair just like normal deodorant would get stuck in the hair so it's hard to you is it 
you have to work a little bit for it. You have to really massage it into your skin. One downside to, to this product, which uh, when we got the, the stick version, did make it a little bit easier, a little bit easier to apply, of course, so it's more like a normal, uh, normal stick of deodorant. Uh, so it did make it a little easier to apply that way. But the the rubbing it in and everything, you know, was a bit tedious to, to do. So that was one yeah. downside to uh, to applying the product. It's not quick and easy, uh, you, you know, like it is with a normal stick of deodorant. Yeah, and honestly, I got to where I didn't mind having to massage it in. It was just like another step. And for me, like one thing I noticed is my arm, my um, underarms can be a little bit tender. And like the longer I use this, I noticed that they weren't as tender. And so I don't know if it's because traditional deodorants have so many bad byproducts and chemicals in it, and this is all natural. I, I you know, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really speak to that, but that was just something I personally noticed. Um, that was uh, sort of, if you, if you read their website or you read their story, that's kind of the approach that they take. So getting that's away from true. the harmful chemicals that are in deodorants, yeah. uh, normal antiperspirants. And that's another thing, this is a deodorant, it's not an antiperspirant. Yeah, you so will sweat. You, you do sweat, so if you're used to wearing a deodorant with antiperspirant in it, it, it will take some getting used to. You do sweat, but you don't have the smell that comes with the sweat. But now you did notice, I did not notice this, but you did. Some of your shirts did have staining under the arms. Yes. Not, I, I really, it was yellow. It stained it a little yellow. So I really don't think it was the product was it? staining it. I think it was sweat. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's yeah. a good point. If, if you're a guy, uh, you might want to wear like an undershirt, like a t-shirt or something yeah. underneath your clothes, especially, well, nobody wants their clothes stained no matter what you do, but especially if you wear... Um, you know, your white shirts or mm -hmm. a nicer dress shirt or whatever to, to work or whatever you work in. Because he wears dress shirts. Um, right. Uh, you might want to wear an undershirt if you don't already with yeah. this. Just to make sure if, it, if you do sweat, it's going to absorb the, the sweat. It's not going to stain your, your yeah. clothes. But uh, if you're like me and you have shirts for any amount of time, regardless of whether you're wearing a deodorant with antiperspirant or not, you're going to get sweat stains. It's going to happen uh, because you're, you know, some you're going to have one of those days where it's hot and you're just going to sweat through your your deodorant and your yeah. antiperspirant anyway. Uh, so other than that, you know, that's the only thing as far as the sweating part goes is it does yeah. not stop you from sweating. And then like, as far as like, does it work? Does it keep you from, you know, having an odor? Um, it's a little bit more work than traditional deodorant so like I'm the type of person I like to shower at night so that when I get up in the morning I'm just ready to go Ken likes to shower in the morning so what I've noticed is if I put this on at night if I bathe and then apply um, by the next morning if I've like sweated during the night or I got hot or whatever I will need to reapply and it's like I don't smell like you know like I haven't bathed or anything like that, but you can tell like a little bit of the sweat smell starting to come through. And so I would have to reapply the next morning. Um, if you work out, you're gonna have to reapply it before the end of the day. You swim. Yeah, which I mean, honestly, with traditional deodorants, I have to do that sometimes too. Probably. Uh, working yeah. out, depending on what type of workout you do, if you're a guy and you're just lifting yeah. weights and you don't really work up a, a huge sweat, you, um, you know, you with an, traditional deodorant and a perspirant mm -hmm. uh, you might be able to get by without having to reapply uh, with this I would strongly suggest that you do reapply or you yeah. know, if you're if you're watching this and you're kind of considering this product you may want to keep that in mind if you're more active uh, th that is something that you're gonna have to uh, to think about now yeah. like we were saying earlier with the with the stick deodorant now I have noticed with this that it's number one easier to apply as yeah. you would imagine you don't have to you know scoop out an amount or anything you just rub this under your underarm just like a normal deodorant but i've, I've noticed that the coverage is better it's it you mm -hmm. get more even coverage than when you're taking it and trying to rub it in your arm and, and hoping you get it covered properly yeah. so the coverage is more even and i've noticed that it it lasts a little bit longer and it protects a little bit better than it was with with this it was really inconsistent with this yeah. because you didn't know how much you were getting you know? yeah. um and so with with this it i found that it's it's a little more even um but it, it you know all in all it, it's a you know it's a, yeah. it's a good product and um i and just like normal wear like you during the day going to work you still like when he would come home at night he would because 
I ain't gonna lie, we did the smell test. Like, smell piece. And I for, smell piece. For the last, like, ever since, you know, we started using this, we've been doing that whole, hey, do you smell anything? Because we really wanted to try it out and see how it worked in different situations. So, <laughs> so like, we walked around, like, you know. Under different circumstances, we would, you know, sniff each other's armpits. Because, I mean, you know, we're married, and that's just one of the jobs that we have to do. We have to smell each other's armpits. Um, it's like, do we have a book? We have an obligation. Armpits? Yeah, I mean, we have an obligation to make sure our <laughs> significant other doesn't smell. Yeah, like, And they have the same obligation for us. So, you know, we don't walk out the house smelling horrible or whatever. So, maybe like, you the, you know... You know, test on each other. Uh, so sometimes you need a sometimes you need a second opinion if you're you know if you're like, hey, baby, you smell this. It's like the whole does my butt look big in these pants? Do my armpits stink in this deodorant? Yeah. Now, okay. So one thing I have noticed look, with texture, because I definitely okay. want to go over texture with this. If you can see like where I massaged it in earlier, I don't know if you can tell, but let me shine my light up here. But this the um this one the jar when you massage this in it almost has like a cream to powder it gets powdery um it doesn't leave a greasy residue on your hand but i want you to see this one because this was the main difference that i noticed in these two products when i got them is texture so if you guys can see i don't know if you can see that okay the stick gives you a oily residue can you see that shining on my hand I think it's picking up in the camera but I'm trying to shine my light where you guys kind of see it kind of yeah a little bit. okay so when you put this one on the stick you are going to like right now my hand is oily but like my finger it does give you like a greasy texture um, it's it definitely leaves behind like a greasy feel Maybe it something seem, with the with the formula for it being in a stick as opposed to a jar. They may have yeah. needed to add something to the formula to. Uh, yeah, because I'm noticing with this one, with this coconut oil is the first ingredient. With the pot, um, coconut oil is the second ingredient. So what they've done, okay. So this one is coconut oil for, or tapioca starch first. Then the second ingredient is coconut oil. With this, it's reversed. You have coconut oil first and tapioca starch second. So they've reversed the first two ingredients. And I don't know if that's the only thing that, you know, is causing Cause the difference. It. But it does, like, it does absorb in after a few minutes. But just be aware, like, if you're wearing an expensive blouse or a shirt um, and that's a concern, you may want to apply this one like a few minutes before you get dressed just to give it time to absorb in so you don't mess up your shirt yeah. which i haven't noticed have you noticed anything i and i haven't noticed it like the product itself uh causing any any damage to any of my clothes or causing yeah. anything it's it, i haven't i haven't noticed that at all so i think you're I think you're probably pretty safe with with that um you know black dresses you might you might want to be careful. Um, Make sure you rub it in real good. Yeah, before and that is another thing too. Even with the stick, um, if you know, if you want, you can still rub you know it. rub it in uh, to make sure that it it covers your skin properly. Yeah. Now I have noticed with this, you do not see it on your skin, but some of my like tank tops and stuff when I would take them off, I did notice, ladies, that like underneath my arm there would be a white cast on the fabric. So I did notice that it wasn't gray, but it was, you know how like sometimes your deodorant will just leave like a white cast on the underarm of your clothing? This one does do that. Um, not quite as bad for this one, but I've definitely noticed it for the one that's in the pot. So, um, trying to think if there's anything else we needed to tell them. Yeah, that was it. All in all, um, mixed on it, um, if... My take on it is if what they say is true about the uh, how harmful it could be, and I'm not... I like mean, traditional deodorants. Traditional how deodorants, harmful. how harmful yeah. they may be. There, there, there are some theories out there uh, with lymph nodes and, and cancer and things like that. There are some theories out there that our um, antiperspirants or deodorants that have all these chemicals in them may be harmful to us. Yeah. Uh, we're not... We're not here to endorse 
any theories or anything yeah. like that at all. Um, but if if there's a possibility that that may be true, that that may be true, then it might be worth it to you know to yeah. do this because you're you're erring on the side of caution. Um, you know when you're dealing with natural ingredients and, and things yeah. like that. So. Uh, again, not here to endorse that theory, not here to, to try to persuade anybody into that level We're of thinking, thinking or, or anything like that. But That was what turned us on to trying this because yeah, it was hell. Because uh, it was like, I mean, if it works like, you know, as well as traditional deodorant, then, you know, why not? What's it going to hurt to use it? I think I will, for the time being, keep using it. I may use, like, go back and forth during the summer, and, and maybe we'll do an update video in summer to let y'all know how it did, which is starting to get hot now here because yeah. it's in the south. Yeah, We've had some 80-degree days, yeah. Yep. But, yeah, all in all, we like it. So, you know, if you guys give it a try or if you have given it a try, let us know yeah. in the um, in the messages below, like, how it worked and, and everything. And down below and um like i said i will list that link for you to go to and i think like if you go to their website and order it i think it gives you an option of creating a link so you can send your friends there if they would like to try it and then you will get um they have like a special deal you know you can earn discounts and stuff you don't earn like like we don't make money off of that link you can earn like a discount off of your own product but like we're not sending you to a link where we make money off right. of it or anything but yeah. but it helps you guys out you know to get a discount if you want to try it you yeah. know yeah so if you it. yeah let us know and um let us know in the comments if you yeah. want to see more reviews uh give us a from thumbs us. up yeah from us because she's going to do them anyway uh so basically <laughs> if you like me then let us know in the comments so that I can make more appearances in her videos. <laughs> if other products we might try together, yeah. uh, so let us know if you. Is there if anything you, enjoy... you guys want us to try? Yeah. Yeah. Let what us are other know. things you're supposed to say? Subscribe down below. Yeah. You're supposed to do that. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thumbs and, up if you like the video. And um, let us know down below if you want to see more of these. And also, if you have product suggestions and things you would like to see us um, review. Also, um, remember to click the bell um, because apparently oh, YouTube, the bell. the bell, how can you forget the bell? Like, uh, I'm not a YouTuber. Well, like so. now YouTube is like messing with us again and apparently like if you don't click the bell, you may not always get notified even if you subscribe. So click the bell and it'll let you know when we upload or when I upload because I do the work. I probably won't. Every so often he's going to make an appearance. Cameos. That's what it will be, cameo appearances. Cameos. Yeah. <laughs> And you got lipstick on. Yeah, but it's non-transfer. It's physician's formula. Mm. <laughs> so, like, so you don't have on pink lips. <laughs> so That's anyway, guys, up. thank you so much for joining us. We had fun. Yes. I had fun, fun filming with my honey today. And um, we will catch you in the next video. You guys have a blessed night. Bye. I had to sit further back because I'm telling you, I feel like Will Ferrell and Elf when I sit next to you. <laughs> like, I'm, like your Papa Elf. As I <laughs> so are we doing a mukbang now to you? <laughs>